Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm very excited. It's always a lot of fun to check out what old Super Action stuff is continuously up to. We've looked at all of their accessory packs thus far, and today they have their newest accessory set, which is just very cool. If you're one of those people that collects toys, but then you love to take photographs and you like to put them on the old Instagram, Twitter, and the socials, yeah, a lot of these accessories will be right up your alley because we're looking at the new Game On Super Action Stuff arcade accessory sets. Now, there are two Game On accessory sets, both of which are the same in terms of what you get. The differences between the two is that they have really cool names, right? One of them is Cyber Dagger, and the other one is Cats with Knives 2, right? And the arcade machines are pretty darn stellar, and they work with five inch, six and seven, we'll go with that, kind of sort of eight inch, but six and seven, that's that nice little sweet spot, and it has interchangeable screens, right? Little decals that you can swap out. And like I said, while there is two and they come with the exact same accessories, it's just color differences. We're going to focus on Cats with Knives today because that's the one that I found to be the better one for me. So you can pre-order these now. They are being sent out. You can go on Entertainment Earth. I would wait until that little green button changes to in stock because then you can get a 10% off discount with my links down in the description below. So it'll run you about 40 bucks. You get a ton in the box. And yes, like I said, two different versions of the same stuff. It's just different colors and whatnot. So here's everything inside the Cats with Knives 2 arcade machine. And again, it's really cool that it's in an arcade machine. There's something very unique about that. Great idea, right? Always very cool. So game on, here's a little insert. Comes with 29 accessories, all pertaining to the act of fun and gaming and all that jazz. So I like that. That really stands out to me. And like I said, you do get these decals. They're not stickers. You just sort of wet them, and then you can put them right there on the screen. So it's all various video game screens for the front of your arcade machine, which is very cool in and of itself. Not only is it a box, and see, that's where the creativity really goes, is that you have the screen. You can swap out the screens. You got the artwork on the sides, just like the old-fashioned arcade machines, the coin slots, the coin retrieval, it even has that little area where you'd put in a key to open that area up. Now up here, this is missing, right? Well, if you're not inside the arcade machine, you get the joysticks and the buttons. It's a little panel, and that simply just clips in right there. And that's awesome. And one thing to point out, the joysticks are removable. They're separate pieces, so don't lose them. But I like that you could kind of sort of move them around, and it's its own separate thing. So it really achieves the arcade look. Plus, on the back side, if you put in two AAA batteries, which, that's a nice touch. Hit that old on switch right there, and boom, the screen comes on. Now, via what you see on the camera, it looks a little bright in one area. When you have it in hand in real life, it's actually just like an arcade machine. So... Well done. That is awesome in and of itself. And like I said, seven inch figures totally works. Six inch figures totally works. Let's say five inch to a degree. But yeah, for the most part, five to seven inches, that nice sweet spot area. So here's everything out of the box, right? And we'll kind of go right to left here. So this is a bit of a energy fire effect. It has a peg inside the base right there. And yes, this would be something along the lines of something like you're kicking something. We'll get to that in just a few. This is another one of their puke effects, which I absolutely love from the last accessory set that they did. You can figure it out. You can have a lot of fun with said puking effect. That's for sure. Now, of course, an accessory that is near and dear to me. You have a coffee cup that says go away, which pertains to a lot of you out there when you write those nonsense comments. You get two orange hockey pucks. That's a nice little touch. But what are you going to hit them with? Well, you get two hockey sticks. So one of them in this set is orange. 
Some of the paint is a little rough on some of these accessories, probably because they're all banging around each other in the box, right? Phrasing, but <laughs> you get the idea. The blue and the white one right here, that's a nice color effect. And yes, like I said, all these action figures that I have in the back can hold these in some sense. Like you want to do a Happy Gilmore swing. Now, you do get boxing gloves again. I like that these are a little bit worn looking. They're a brown reddish color. You also get these which have that cat logo on there. That's nice to see. That kind of translates through all the accessories. So if you have a Marvel Legends figure or any figure that can swap the hands, that'll totally work. This one perplexed me. I really had to look this up. I had to think like, what the heck is this? <laughs> and while I get it now, it doesn't really work for me. This is one where I'm like, yeah, you got me seeing stars on just, yeah, it doesn't really work, right? Now, this right here is a VR headset. And a lot of this stuff, which they do tout, you might need some sticky tack to apply to your figures. You also get the controls for this particular headset. So Ghost Rider can definitely dish out all the vengeance that he wants via the VR unit. I like that, that's a nice touch. Now, for me, coffee cup, now you got a Nintendo Switch controller, that's awesome. I do wish that these were removable on the side, that would have been a nice touch. But again, you have that cat logo. And from the colors of the buttons and everything, I like the way that this came out. You also get a camera, so for all you Peter Parker Spider-Man enthusiasts, you get a nice digital camera and a nice touch. This unplugs. You can then plug in a larger telescopic lens, and I think that that really is cool. So you got two options there. Then you get essentially a Starbucks cup, right? Complete with the little brown wrapping and then the plastic lid, and all of it really works. However, some of these accessories can be kind of wide for certain figures' hands, just keep that in mind. Now, you do get a pair of Beats by Dre, and what I really like about these is that when I went to go put it on the Putty Patroller here, I quickly found out these are adjustable. So I like that they did that, that's really nice to see, and heck yeah, it totally works on your figures. Now this is a nice cool folding chair. It's all black, whereas let's say the other arcade machine with its accessories has a silver version of this chair. So you kind of get the idea there. You will have to piece it together yourself, but it's pretty self-explanatory. And again, yeah, I like how it just folds up and you can hold it and bash somebody in the head. Now you do get a tablet an iPad, whatever you want to call it. That's nicely done. And you can also have old Santa Claus checking his list digitally. It's about time you've joined the modern age, right, Santa? Now, you do get a pair of drumsticks. There's no drums, anything like that inside. But these are very small, so you're going to need a tightly gripped action figure to really hold them. This right here is something out of Roger Rabbit. It's something interesting, I will say. You get a pair of bug eyes. This one for me, you probably need sticky tack, although I was able to use these on the putty patroller. Now there are several masks inside. You get a gas mask and a bit of a COVID mask, although you really need sticky tack to kind of adhere these to your figures. They don't have straps or anything like that. However, I was able to put, let's say the Flash's head back enough to where it held on to show you that. This right here is a spray paint bottle. It's a little big for a few of the characters' hands, let's be honest, and seemingly the paint has glued in this little nozzle part right here, which is supposed to be removable, because then you have swap out spray paint effects, gas effects, you get the idea. I do like that, but yes, it was kind of a pain to have to get that little tiny nozzle out. But once you do, and like I said, get a character with a large enough grip, you can spray paint or gas your enemies into submission. Now, you do get several sports balls, right? So you have like a Harlem Globetrotters basketball, and you get a football and a soccer ball. And all of them are painted nicely. The football is a little shiny, let's be honest. So you could take your photos and just have a casual game of soccer right there on your display table, or you can plug the balls into the fire which totally took me by surprise. It is interesting, but doesn't do a whole heck of a lot for me, especially if you want to kick a football like that, right? And you also get a nice guitar. Now, this is a solid black guitar with little silver accents. Nice to see. It's a little warped at the top, but give it to old Ghost Rider and he can sing you a shanty about his time in the old west. So that's gonna wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new super action stuff, Game On Accessory Arcade Machines. And thank you again to the fine folks 
over at Super Action Stuff for sending these out for the purposes of this video. Overall, they're pretty solid. Now, not every single accessory will be a home run for you. It's all about what you like, what you like to use these for, and you will have variances on what works for certain action figures in your collection. But rest assured, if you are a photographer and you like taking fun, funny photos... Yeah, this will definitely be right up your alley. So, you've heard my thoughts. So now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything super action stuff. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most important, remember, grab yourself an arcade and just have a blast taking some awesome photos. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.